my name is Mark Spencer and I'm a forensic botanist and being a forensic botanist means I help the police as an expert witness and crime scene investigator um, understand how serious crimes are committed. So I go out into the environment and help police understand how trees, plants, fungi behave in the environment and how they can use those things to understand how crimes occurred. So I've been interested in plants and fungi for the whole of my life, ever since I was a small boy. Um, but I first started doing forensic science work um, when I was at the Natural History Museum. And I literally got a phone call one day saying, oh, Dr. Spencer, can you help us? There's a dead person lying on the roadside and we need to understand how long they've been there. So what we do is look at the vegetation around that person and help understand because the vegetation grows around them, what's been happening to them and how long they've been in that environment. So um, it by chance is how I became a forensic botanist. The life of a forensic botanist is very variable and my day-to-day -day life is deeply unpredictable. One day I could just be sat at home writing exciting documents, the next moment the phone can go, uh, we need you at a crime scene urgently, there's a person's body lying in the landscape, we need you now. So quick, throw clothes into a bag, jump on a train, rush up to whatever part of the country it is. Next thing I'm in the white bodysuit, face mask, all of that, and I'm studying the remains of somebody's body, understanding what's happened to them and working with the police and the forensic experts. So my body sort of go, my, my body, my job goes from being quite ordinary to extraordinary very quickly. People often ask, you know, what is the, the most important or exciting thing you've done in crime scene work? And quite often, frankly, I have to disappoint people because the work I do is essentially highly confidential. Um, so I don't talk about particular cases to the members of the public so they know, oh, you worked on that murder, for example, because I think it's inappropriate, because actually you're dealing with, you know, often at the end of somebody's life or a serious crime, and there's a lot of privacy in there and respect um, about that person's remains. So I don't really talk about those kind of things in public, but, you know, the most important thing for me is, you know, you're working with the police under often very difficult conditions to just help. You know, that in itself is an extraordinary thing to be doing, is to help people understand what happened to their family and friends, their loved one, and actually, ultimately, maybe that information can help be used to bring somebody to justice. So one of the things about being a forensic botanist, people say, what do you actually do? And it's a complicated answer, frankly, because biology is complicated. And so the practical skills I use are some of which are a bit like being a forest tracker. You know, I look at vegetation and I can tell the police a story about how old that piece of grass is. Or that bush is 20 years old, don't dig there, or those kind of things. So understanding vegetation and landscape is important. But you know, other parts of my job are really about, you know, looking at maybe a tiny leaf fragment, getting it under a microscope and identifying that leaf fragment and helping use that information to link a suspect to a crime scene or a victim. It's called trace evidence. So the work I do involves all sorts of aspects of my understanding of plants. 